Welcome to another QA Automat tutorial. This is the second part for setting up Selenium Grid. Uh, in this one, I'm going to actually explain how to set it up inside your test cases uh, and test classes and how to just pull it when you say get driver and magically work. Um, so <clears throat> we did before just to make sure uh, we have our nodes running. They are running. F5, perfect, great. So <clears throat> before we had a get driver, um, and I'm going to introduce two new um, uh, types for uh, classes. Uh, desired capabilities, which are what you're going to tell Selenium Grid um, what you want to have running, whether it's like Firefox and Windows or Mac uh, version or Mac, Safari, uh, version X, or whatever it may be. Um, so you need to set up in your on your te test side um, the all of this information. And there's like the three main ones that you really need to do: is set browser, um, the oops, set browser, the set platform. And if you decided to put in uh, your, what is it, uh, versions, you have set version. Oh, platform's yelling at me because it actually takes platform dot the platform you want to use. <clears throat> this is Windows, so I'm going to say Windows. If it's a Mac, use a Mac. If you actually have a specific version of Windows, like Win 8.1, then you would put that in. But you have to remember when you set your desired capabilities, they have to match what you did for Selenium Grid. So in this one, I've noticed um, I have browser name Firefox and platform Windows. Um, so you have to make sure that it will match up Windows, Windows. Um, so let's, let's keep this to Windows. And our browser name, which would be Firefox. <clears throat> uh, version, we're going to leave blank. We don't need to worry about that. Um, so these are kind of your desired capabilities, and, and these are important. You can also say desired capabilities equal desired capabilities dot Firefox, Android, Chrome. And these are already preset here. Um, and so when you say Firefox, it will set your browser name to Firefox and then platform to any. Um, so let's just say run Firefox somewhere. I don't care. It just needs to be Firefox. So, <clears throat> but we're actually going to be very specific, specific about it. <laughs> um, so you're going to say get driver and then we're going to add another Boolean. We're going to say use the grid. Um, so if we're going to use the grid or not. And we are going to be introduced to a new guy. Um, let's do if use grid. Then in here, I want to return new remote driver. And this is what is going to be used to connect to Selenium Grid. Uh, and it's going to talk to Selenium Grid, which will talk to the node and run the drivers um, <clears throat> accordingly. So let's, we need to submit the URL to our hub. And our is HTTP localhost, um, remember 4444. And more importantly, you have to slash WD slash hub. And this is actually connect to the hub itself. Uh, if you, without this, you'll have some problems. So. And we will be adding our desired capability. So I'm going to take this, put it here. Um, and we will be our browser name. So we're going to be, we're going to get really uh, crazy here. Our browser name will equal the type dot get browser name. So I, when I set these up, I actually set them up to what 
um, so or what uh, Selenium is using, um, Firefox, Chrome, Inter Internet underscore Explorer, and Safari. So um, this will work perfectly here. So type git browser name. Um, our platform, which we can set, um, you could probably do like a pass in, or you can set it to a properties file. I'm gonna hard code it for Windows for right now. Um, and then our desired capabilities will get passed in here. And boom. So if we're going to use grid, just return this remote driver and use that. Otherwise, um, deal with it down here. And actually, it uh, looks like I can do some cleanup. Uh, it's just to make things uh, simpler here. I mean, we don't need to do anything crazy. Uh, So maybe, maybe you know, as time goes on, I always think, oh, I could do this, I could do that. So, um, but that looks a lot cleaner. Um, so, like, look how simple that is. That is beautiful. All right. So now that we have our web driver factory, let's run our tests. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, how do I? There it is. That's Alt-1. For those uh, wondering, Alt One. Um, so our login test uh, will. Let's run our login test, and we are getting yelled at. To browser type. Oh, Boolean. Oh, got it. Are we using Grid or not? Um, do I like this? I don't like this. Um, but that's okay. We're gonna say. Versus one login test, we're gonna say true, uh, but all the other ones are gonna yell at me. I'm gonna say false. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Nope, this is ugly. I don't like this. This is horrible. Why did I do this? We're gonna remove grid, and this is why. We are actually gonna pull in. Remember how we're pulling in our old. Um, or old data before uh, from the properties file. We're gonna do the kind of the same thing um, here. So let's go to what, uh, where is my login test by property? And this was okay. So this is what we are going to do. And we're going to say use grid. We're going to say dot equals ignore case true. If that's the case, then it'll move forward. Otherwise, it won't. So <clears throat> I'm going to go right uh, Java exception. Oh, got it. Um, that should be everything, right? Let's just do a build. Build, rebuild. Hopefully everything's good. Great. So let's go to our properties file. And we're adding a new one called use grid equals true. And our browser, Firefox. Um, so just so we're going to get out of here. We're going to take a look at this guy. And uh, let's run our tests. Oh no, what happened? Problem loading page. Ooh. But it half worked. Why did it have a problem loading the page? Okay, there we go. So, and if we refresh this, see how this grayed out? That said that it was using the one from the grid. Um, which is really cool. So it'll let you know when a thread is actually being used. Um, so let's do let's 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 go to the next one. Let's do Chrome. Let's check out Chrome. Um, Chrome, and run it. Ooh, does it not like Chrome? Um, what does not exist? Okay. 
So problem was I didn't put <laughs> desktop slash drivers slash probe driver dot exe. That was my fault. So let's run this again. Uh, start this up and run. There we go. And now it's running Chrome. And if we go to our Selenium grid and refresh, it is telling me here that the Chrome is being used currently. So that is really cool. Um, you know, I, I get the IE. Um, however, IE 11 needs some configuration. I'll put that in a different video. Um, that's, that's Selenium grid in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to check this in to the Git repo. Um, feel free to check it out. You know, take a look at it, pull for what you need for it for your own projects. Um, so until then, I will see you guys online.